Black Awards 2016. I love that. It was fantastic. Hosted so by Jonathan Slocum, actor comedian. Fun. It was fantastic. Oh, you look so beautiful, oh, Sheila. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> and I bet it was just packed. It was. Vernell, oh my goodness. Great job. Vernell's great. It He's is great. He's continuing to do things here in the city to bring us together. I love yes, it. Yes, absolutely. And now you did the uh, uh, perform for the performers, male performers. Yes, and best he, male vocal performer, adult. Okay, okay. And Larry Springfield, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> was he surprised? Did yes, he, he was surprised. It? He seemed surprised to me. Um, he was like, wow, yeah. That oh was such a God. grand night. I had a great time. And it was at the Cannon Center, yes. which is a fabulous venue. Right. And the I weather was great. I love that. Oh, no the rain. I, I know. Have Thank have goodness. A big umbrella with so me. it finished, right? Because it yes. rained. Let's see. It rained Friday. And then it rained it, early. Saturday. It did rain early. Mm -hmm. So good. It was well, fantastic. Great. Thank I love you. it. Thank yeah, you so that much. Is fabulous. Well, look how beautiful she is. Oh, blue. Thank is that you. a blue? Navy, yeah. I have heard that Navy is the new black. Wow. I have. Yeah. I did Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at this little one. So oh, handsome. Isn't that precious? Son. Oh, now we're skipping to the Jacksons. <gasps> Janet. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That was in 94 when I met Michael Jackson. And lo and behold, oh. Janet Jackson was with him. You're kidding me. No, I'm not. And you didn't Two expect Jacksons. it at all? No. So didn't even expect to see him. Look, How Michael. was it? Fantastic. My dream came true. I'm really? satisfied, honestly. Really? Did you get to talk to him? Did I he... said, I cried to him. I screamed to him. And You're he... kidding me. No, and he said, don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Such a gentle spirit. Yeah, very gentle. Wow. I guess we're talking about Michael because next Monday is his birthday. Oh, my God. Gosh, that's yeah. right. It is. Boy, Michael's that's birthday. hard to believe. And you have a great event that you spearhead every year. Mm -hmm. This is the eighth annual, yes. in fact, right? Mm -hmm. Eighth annual food and clothing drive for the homeless, honoring oh, our wow. homeless brothers and sisters who yeah. have been underserved due to socioeconomic hardships or whatever the case may be. They need yeah. our help. They right. do. And it's such a fabulous event because we do yeah. hear so often about uh, events honoring uh, people surviving cancer or fighting cancer and things mm -hmm. like that. And I don't hear very much about uh, events for the homeless. Right. And we have a large Absolutely. homeless population Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So um, it's, a, it's a great event. And, right. and, um, and one thing I will point out is that a lot of people, when they think of homelessness, they think of adults. But there are tons of children That's very who true. are also affected Sheila, that is very true. by yes. the homeless epidemic yeah. here and around wow. the country for that matter. So right, yeah. right, right, yeah, right. So we need your support. We need non-perishable items. That's what I was going to say. Yes. Where do, they, do they drop them off? Do yes. they? Okay. Where? August 27th at Greater Money Church Okay. at 3824 Austin B. Highway from 10 to 2. Okay, great. And we just need clothes of all sizes, all styles, right, and right. gently worn, yeah. of course, and of okay. course non-perishable items. That's fabulous. You know, those clothes you hadn't worn yes. in the last year or so. I, right, I've got a whole... Uh, Me too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Women, we'll take th them. This is what we do. We buy. I, I, I do. I exactly. Do. <laughs> exactly. So let's give it up for uh, the homeless and let's give it up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, kids are back in school. We yes. actually attended a fabulous event this weekend mm -hmm. with the Reverend uh, Pastor Kenneth Whalem and his wife, Sheila. And this Love was the them. blessing. Yes, and this is a, actually a, a University of Memphis Tiger uh, basketball player actually oh, wow. that he blessed every all educators parents oh, and kids it was so wonderful Aww. at New Olivet Baptist um, it was an oil anointing that he's done for several years mm -hmm. and it was just really really a neat a neat yeah. thing yeah so um, the girls I, I don't think my girls knew what to expect mm -hmm. um, I just told them we were going to Miss Sheila's church mm -hmm. and they were like okay well let's go but mm -hmm. you know we left and this was so such a special moment for me because I was not really paying attention to my husband. Mm -hmm. He had one of my children. I mm -hmm. had the other. And when we walked out, my oldest said, Mommy, you and Dad both cried. <laughs> and so it, it shows you how so touching sweet. it was. It was yeah. really neat. It, it was, was great. Yeah, it was I good. It was, great. it was a good day. So this is, my, I can't believe it's Monday again. I know. We did, The weekend is. goes too fast. Too fast. Who made that up? I know, right. We need yeah. a three-day weekend. Yeah, three days. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got a great show. One smart cookie. There are so many, so many fabulously yeah. talented and inspirational woman, women here. Mm -hmm. And the Girl Scouts of the South uh -oh. have said, hey, we're going to recognize these Fantastic. women.
and I think it's fabulous, Sheila. Yeah, the stage yes. is set. They're getting ready to uh, recognize and highlight women in our community who do great things with the One Smart Cookie Luncheon, and we've got a front row seat. Ooh. Local 24 Cares is a proud sponsor, I so it's that. a good, yeah, it's a good deal. And they opened up for nominations. They're not open anymore, but man, they just were inundated. Wow. So, yeah, it's fun. Okay, look, we're hooked on science, and are your kids hooked on science? Uh -oh. Well, we have got Jason Lindsay in the house. He's Mr. Science, and he's also a meteorologist. Oh, so he is a Here smart guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can tell us the weather and tell us how to get our kids introduced to uh, to science. It's I good. I love that. That was Fun. one of my favorite subjects. Well, good for you, yeah. girl. I love it. <laughs> and ladies, how can one small change give you a big overhaul when it comes to your hair? We'll tell you. First, though, Jimmy Carter and Miss Carter. This is so wonderful. 30 years they have been involved in Habitat for Humanity. Amazing. And I believe, if my memory serves me correct, this is their third trip to Memphis. Amazing. Isn't it wonderful? I'm so excited. Oh, I know. And it just, he, he will be 92, but that has not stopped him. I know he has really, I mean, philanthropy is his Absolutely. deal. And this weekend, he, along with his wife, were here, and they literally got down to business putting the nails in the boards and putting up, uh, they built some, our building, actually, Actually, in the process of building some 19 Aww. homes. There he is Look right there. Him. I tell you what, he looks great yes. for 92. It's and fabulous. Go, going through cancer. And going through cancer. Yeah. That's right. He has really been, I mean, just a wonderful inspiration. So some 19 homes he's going to provide for folks in this community um, of Memphis. And in fact, we talked to one of the gentlemen that was there, mm -hmm. uh, one of the people who will receive the homes, and listen what he had to say. It's fabulous. Thank you, Mr. President and Mrs. Carter, from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you all so much. Sorry, that was Devin. I'm sorry. Clearly, a woman that was present that is getting mm -hmm. one of those homes. And look oh, at them. Oh, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, wow. I love it. it, it it's Carter. really cool. Those are one of, that's one of 10 beautification projects and six modifications that they're working on in that particular neighborhood. Amazing. So it's, a, it's a really good deal. Mid South students, this is a bittersweet time for some Mid South students, mm -hmm. Sheila, because they're saying goodbye to one of their teachers. He's going overseas. Right. He's a Memphis police officer. Mm -hmm. He also serves in the army and um, he's been a teacher at this school right in fact here he is right here Cottrell Robinson he was just honored at the Shelby County School Board meeting for all of his hard work I went to school with him did you really elementary at Shannon Elementary look at you this is at Barrett's oh, Chapel wow. he, he's been at Barrett's Chapel for many years a love teacher a captain I'm sorry I didn't give him his his praise a captain in the US Army Reserves and now has been called deployed overseas to Iraq so, uh, wow. but yeah, they're they're just saying goodbye to him and, and prayers, thoughts and prayers are going out to him this morning. He'll leave uh, pretty soon here wow. for Iraq to serve in our armed forces. Great job. Isn't he a great guy? Oh my God, yes. I mean, they just, the Shelby County School Board said, you just don't even know how fabulous he's been for us. Great and job. the kids, so mm -hmm. he's, he, I've, I haven't had the opportunity to meet him, but I've mm -hmm. heard that he's fabulous. Yes, he is. So, oh, well, good. Well, it, our time is up. I know, it goes too fast. Too fast. It goes too fast, but you're going to be with him. I know, right? Yeah, let me know. I'll talk to him too. Thank okay. You. <laughs> thank you for thank having you me. So, oh, thank you so much, Sheila. We so appreciate yes, thank it. Thank you. And from one great woman to many great women in our community, we're telling you how the Girl Scouts of the South are celebrating women right here. It's one smart cookie. We're all invited to help these local ladies celebrate. Gina Gigi Butler, Ooh. she's going to be a featured speaker, and Local 24 Cares is a proud sponsor. But first, it's time for the Lexus of Memphis Safe Driving Tip of the Day. You are a Memphis native. You graduated yeah. from the what? University of Memphis. University of Memphis. Go Tigers, go. Yes. <laughs> and you've got a great video in for us this morning yes. to see. You've always been very active in the community, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. And this Thank is you. fabulous. Show us this. This is Mont Martavius Tucker. His mom was unfortunately killed by a drunk driver in Millington. And this is from a few years ago. His dream was to meet O.J. Mayo. There he is with our former Grizz, O.J. Mayo. And um, I was able to help him get that, you know, started. So, um, and make wow. it happen. 
Look at that. Yeah, the Grizzlies, they, they've been a part of Stop the Hurt, Start the Healing, I should say, because they honored us on the court okay. for our humanitarian efforts here in the city of Memphis. So that was a big wow. deal for us. Wow, wow. Yeah. And you've been involved in that for how long? Oh, my goodness. This is my seventh year. Seventh year? And I'm having my eighth food and clothing drive. That is fabulous. Yeah. So yeah. tell me, how did you get involved in that? Did you see a need or talk? I always saw a need. Yes. But I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. A lot okay. of people know that. Okay. But when Michael passed, I wanted to channel my grief, I should say, by right, doing something right. that would inspire others okay. and also honor Michael Jackson's charitable contribution um, legacy. Right, so right, right. that's how I started it. And it's, that is his, that is the uh, one of many groups, I guess, that he was so active in. Yeah. It's Stop the Hurt, Start, start the, the Healing. healing. So yeah. does it continue to grow each year, Sheila? It does. Or? It does. I'm really happy. And not only do we have the homeless and um, the food drive for the homeless, right. we also have the Hope House Daycare here oh, in Memphis, yes, the only, I, I believe, love. HIV ran um, right, daycare right. so we, we we get to play Santa for those babies and we get all these toys for Christmas so and donate wonderful. so um, so I'm so excited hopefully Michael's proud I'm um, sure. I know his I family's am... aware of it and, absolutely and folks can and go ahead and they, can they drop off things in, uh, year round if they, they would can like if to? they would like so they can go to my website well our website stop the hurt start the healing dot org okay you know they can call 901-246-084 for information Fabulous. on volunteering or whatever and, and I love this you made the point yesterday a lot of times when uh, folks talk about uh, the homeless community, they think of just men and women, but right. there is a very large children large. population too, and and sometimes those uh, kids get lost in absolutely. the cracks. So we absolutely. definitely need to remember them as well. Absolutely. So um, we're going to have Sheila on later this week to talk in depth about that program and what you can do to help. So we're Thank grateful you. you're here. Thank you. I love it here. Yes. Fantastic. We are so excited. Thank well, you. we've got a great show. We're live at the Memphis Metal Museum. This is such a fabulous fabulous place and I they do oh it's beautiful you know they um just uh probably six months ago or so they did kind of a, a revamping and mm -hmm. and showed people different vendors there mm -hmm. to kind of get folks uh reignited so to speak about having weddings mm -hmm. and events oh it's just a beautiful place yeah. so in honor of the iron for honor a a exhibition that uh came out of birmingham alabama mm -hmm. we're finding out about some upcoming events that are fun for the entire family so Yay. it's a cool thing yeah and we're all all coming together to raise awareness for Mid-South families dealing with very sick children, mm -hmm. even those who've lost children to illnesses. We're talking about the Forrest Spence race. It's here. We'll tell you how you can support awesome. this fabulous cause. Plus, a Mid-South pastor's idea of revitalizing the closed Vance Middle School gets the attention of one of the city's leading corporate executives. We sit down with Dr. Kenneth Whalem Jr. about his stance on Vance. Love that. <laughs> I know, I do. Well, Le Bonner Children's Hospital is celebrating this morning. Le Bonner is such a wonderful, wonderful organization. Absolutely. Oh, this little girl is so mm -hmm. precious. It's so wonderful. And I can already tell by watching her yesterday mm -hmm. that she has just got a spirit Aww. and a personality like no other. Awesome. It's fabulous. I, this is definitely going to get you motivated this morning, young moms and dads out there. Well, anybody. You don't have to be yeah. young. Young or young at heart. Exactly. Take, take a look and listen at this. My name is Claire and I'm seven years old. I'm a heart patient at La Bonne Children's Hospital. But I'm a lot more than that. I like to act. People picking me. I like to dance. I like to have tea parties. You drink fast. I like all kinds of stuff. I really like La Bonne because when I was a baby, I had open heart surgery. And a helicopter came and brought me to Lil Bonner when I was only one day old. I don't remember it, but my mom Is that loved not me. precious? <laughs> she oh is my adorable. Gosh. I know. And La Bonner, she's doing this because La Bonner Heart Institute was just mm -hmm. recognized by the Society of Thor she actually tries to say it. Uh thora am I saying this right? Thoracic thor Thoratic? Thoratic, yes, thoracic surgeon. She tries to say it too. She she stumbles with it also. Um, but she's seven years old. I'm forty three. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with the highest possible three-star rating, it's one of only eight programs to get that three-star rating. Wow. Congratulations, that, Bonner. Is she not darling? I, I love the bow. Love oh, my goodness. the bow. And she had she was flown to Bonner uh, Children's Hospital when she was just uh, seven days old wow. for open-heart surgery. Oh, my goodness. So, Bless her. yes, I wow. know. She's but, full of energy. 
full Love it. of energy. Personality. Oh, it's so darling. Yeah. But, so, you know, we talked a little bit about the Habitat for Humanity yes. yesterday. And uh, Jimmy Carter, former President Jimmy Carter, love and him. his wife, Rosalind, are in North Memphis, along with many, many others. And mm -hmm. I love this. Trisha Yearwood love and her Trisha husband, Yearwood. Garth Brooks. I know, they're so fabulous. Oh and I didn't realize this until a few years ago, that they have been involved with a number of philanthropic uh, mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. including Habitat, I didn't know that for either. many years. Yeah, wow. they're, they're, they're wonderful and really, love really Trisha. fabulous. But they have been here um, several times, mm -hmm. but they're here right now working in this North Memphis community. Yay. We've got some video of them. I grew up in North and Memphis. Did so you thank really? you, yes. This is one of the communities. Thank one you. One of the communities that they're working on. It's wonderful. And I forget the name of it specifically. I think we've got some video. Uh, but wow. they're working to build homes. Okay, mm -hmm. Chris tells me no, but take my word for it. They're mm -hmm. working to build homes mm -hmm. in that community and uh, do some beautification projects. So yeah, exactly. And just, just make things better for folks Absolutely. in that community. So she also was the one that flipped the switch at Graceland really? this year. Trisha Yearwood, yeah. And you know, she came Gosh. out with, um, and this is, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of remembering mm -hmm. this off the top of my head, but she came out with a reality show um, about the best places to eat. And right. It was, it was right. really cool. I remember and her show. Arcade was, was one of the, there we go. Yay. There we go. Yep, 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 video. Yep. I love it. See, better late than never. Yep. Yeah. So it's good. I 19 homes this. built in this community of North Memphis. So it's a cool, it's a really cool thing. Look, well, there's like. Rosalind. Yes. Is that not fabulous? And first baby. Look at that. Look at him. I know. 93 Maybe. years old. Yeah. I, you know what? It, it amazes me. And I truly, 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 truly big fan. Hope I'm going yeah. even half that strong yeah, at too. 93 because that is amazing. Talk about humanitarian. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Right? I love it. Right. And, and we talked yesterday. He has, has had a lot of health problems mm -hmm. and really just come back going very, very strong. Yeah. And so um, I just have the utmost respect for me them. Me too. And so it's a great deal. And, you know, you can always get involved in Habitat Youth for humanity they have um, an annual of fundraiser and they have all kinds of events all mm -hmm. year long they are always looking for volunteers yeah. and your organization is always looking for volunteers Absolutely. too I want to do a plug for that yes. so how would people go about volunteering they can go Sheila? to the website stop the okay. healing.org or email volunteer at stop the healing org. we need your support we need your volunteerism yes. please come out and support yeah and we've got to do that you know yeah. I, I'm a big advocate um, even if we don't live in gated communities mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes we fall in that uh, in that hole that we Absolutely. feel like we do and we don't get out right so get out get involved and make your community a better place and to you'll live. feel good you know, oh, gosh, you know you'll feel a, you feel a so million good. times better than you did before and not only that you're helping those who are in need and you're creating your own legacy absolutely you know so friend. yeah absolutely yeah. Sheila oh it's so great I love you I, I love, love being you. here I love you girl yeah. you're always wonderful Thank don't you. you go anywhere though I'm not gonna hug you yet why because Brittany <laughs> Spence is standing by Brittany, good morning. She is going to tell us all how to sign up for a main fundraiser for the kids and families right here in the Mid-South dealing with chronic illnesses. But first, stay here for the daily safe driving tip of the day brought to us by Lexus of Memphis. We're back after the break.